desperately don't like to struggle when I'm trying to move stitches. Now it'll be easier for me to use my tool to take it off and put it right on without having to worry about that lasted latch. If I had in every other needle transfer tool, this would go really quick, but I don't. My tools are all for every needle. Of course, I shouldn't say that because they are available out there. You can find them. And somewhere in my stash, I do have some tools like that that I just happened across one time on eBay. I got them for my bond. It was actually before... I uh, had got my Knit Smart, but they were Knit Smart tools. Got one of my stitches behind the latch and one in front, so that's why I went back and changed that over. We're just about there. Where I'm doing this row of picots, or basically eyelets, is halfway on the uh, number of required rows for the stocking cuff. It says that this particular cuff is 20 rows knitted deep, so uh, after knitting my 10th row I've stopped to change these stitches all the way across. Once I get the stitches moved, I will just knit across the row and finish up with my other 10. I'm going to double check that everybody's inside and that all the latches are, are ready and prepared to knit. And because I want to pick up those stitches that I put out of working, I need to move them back forward first so I can go along and open the latches. And I'll just push them back into working position so they'll pick up a loop and form a stitch when we come back. I knocked to knit this row slowly. I'm going to pull down on my hem, make sure that I do indeed have a stitch on those alternate needles, and continue on. You can see there is our nice row of eyelets. When this gets folded over, when I rehang, you'll see the actual pico edge form. I'm going to stop the tape, finish this cuff, and add on some of um, the body of the stocking so that you can see it when I've joined it. And here is the pico edge. I like to put a knitting needle in and, or a ruler, depending on how long it is, and give it a good pull. And you can see it's just really a nice little hem. turn it upside down so you can see on the bottom of a sweater it could look really nice. Of course it's rather bulky with this thick worsted weight yarn, but still it gives it a, a good heavy solid weight to hold the hem down and it holds it very nicely. There's another stocking. My plans are to turn these stockings over to a boutique that I have to have some things ready for. I only have two weeks to get them done. So this is working out pretty good. I only have one more hem to show you, and that was requested by Diane. And um, she asked if I would show one of the lace hems. Uh, I did the uh, cotton t-shirt that was posted to the list a while back, and it was put together by Wren. And she used the um, lace edging that was shown on, um, I believe it was Cheryl, I can't think of her last name, her lavender and lace cardigan. It's really very easy to do lace. It's just a matter of moving stitches around. Um, I would like to try it on one of these stockings and think that it could turn out really nice. So I'm going to set up 
working with lace requires that you have a closed edge cast down, um, as particularly in this instance where it's going to be used as a hem. What I first would like to show you is the couple of different um, closed edges that I use and um, one that I've just learned about but I really like it. The first one of course is just our basic E-wrap cast on. Everybody seems to have a bit of trouble with it so I thought, or I shouldn't say everyone, excuse me, some people have trouble with it so I thought I'd show you that first. The E-wrap cast on requires that you put your needles in forward holding with a green card behind helps hold everything nice and tight so you can do the wrap. Creating a loop, put it on your last needle presuming that you're right handed and you're going from left to right. Slowly and gently wrap around each needle up and over. Not too tight, not too loose. Or should go all the way across. I like to run my finger one way and then run it back the other and it tends to even out the wraps. Then to proceed with your knitting you would remove the card, put the stitches back with the latches open and slowly knit across the row. It's not bad but a lot of people don't care for it. Um, I think that the problem most people have with this cast on is they do this too tight and the needles cannot move back and create the stitch in a just a gentle manner. I'm going to take this off so that I can show you our next cast on which is the latch tool cast on. The loop this time goes on the needle excuse me, on the latch tool, not on the needle. I'm going to come up between the first and second needle. I'm going to grab the yarn, kind of like you would with crocheting, with my hook and pull it down and through, pulling a large enough loop but not so big that it gets big and sloppy. My latch tool has now come up between my second and third needle. I'm going to put that yarn out there again. Notice that the latch has to be in front of the stitch just as if we were knitting. Pull it down and through. I'm hoping my hand's not in the way so that you actually can see this working. hold my yarn at such an extreme angle but I'm trying to do this so you can see the motion. Up, grab, up, grab. Sometimes I even over accentuate bringing the latch tool up so I can make sure that that latch gives, gets above my loop as it's needed. When you get to the last loop that you're wanting to cast on, that stitch merely goes onto the needle. Don't pull it too tight. Bring the yarn up, load your carriage, and knit across. Of course, you always want to bring the cast on back to the bed. Push the stitches back into working position, making sure all the latches are open. Knit across slowly and bear down just and a little extra bit, not real heavy, but just a little on the carriage and that will help you get across without dropping any stitches. I'm going to take this one off and show you the next one that I really like. This just zips off by the way, makes it really handy for undoing if you don't like the way that it turned out. 
for this one I will make sure I have all my latches open the video that I saw this in is the creative stitches video I believe and they call it a double e-wrap I call it a knitted on cast on <laughs> but uh, whatever you want to call it I think it works really well it's got extra elasticity the loop goes on the first needle snug it up a little bit now you will come between the second and third needle coming back across to the first needle and actually knit that through what you're holding on between the third and the fourth needle and knit that on I have my waist yarn here and I'm needing to pull through through the fourth and fifth needle pull it through it's just kind of a over and pull etc and you are manually forming these stitches so you want to make sure you don't pull them too tight you'll get to a point where you know how big you want them to be this makes a very nice kind of uh, rope looking edge on the right side of the garment, the knit side of the garment and you continue on across I'm going to pull this forward and hopefully you can see what a chain, nice chain it makes going across this is very quick and very easy and I like it because it has a nice stretch to it but yet it's firm this would be my choice of an edging to use on the lace project that I used on the last stocking hem Diane requested that I show this in my video um, she liked a t-shirt that I made and showed at camp is a cotton t-shirt that was um, put on the web Ren made the instructions for it and she used a lace hem that was um, part of uh, Fiber Arts lavender and lace cardigan set it's a very very pretty and I'll show you my finished stocking this is how it turned out of course it hasn't been blocked or pressed down but doing the red on top of the white I thought it turned out really pretty. It creates a scallop edge and after it's washed and blocked this will lay down real nice. As you can see just have a real nice pattern the white showing through on this stocking. I decided to uh, do a few little eyelets alternating them in the body of the stocking just to give it a little different look. I thought it turned out really pretty. I'm anxious